NZDCHF, uh, I have a signal, guys, finally. Uh, I am seeing this thing will sell. NZDCHF will sell, and these are my reasons. Before even uh, I you go and sell, just see why I'm saying it will sell. If you agree with me, you sell. If you don't agree with me, comment down below. Let me hear your thoughts. But then I want to hear your thoughts and what uh, you may think uh, will happen to NZDCHF. You have been trading it. Why have you been trading it? Which technology are you using? But for me, I have seen a sell. And that's why I have decided to do this video to tell you you can sell. And one thing, remember what I told you. Anytime you get a, any signal, either to sell or buy, for instance, we have a sell signal. This is what you need to check every time. Number one, your entry should be defined. Why are you entering? Why? Why are you entering? And then where, what is the target? The target should be the take profit. Where is the target? So the target should be very clear because you, can, you cannot just enter the trade without a target. And then number three, what is the exit? What will make me exit this trade? So I want to show you how to do a live entry. This is a live entry and you can do it with me. And let me tell you, this trade, two things can happen. It either we make money or we exit this trade with a loss. So if you're not willing to lose, don't enter this trade. If you're willing to see how it will go, kindly sell in the DCHF. And now let's get down to the video. Uh, there are many impersonators, even selling signals. I don't sell signals out there using my name, using my profile, scamming people. I only have one number, and this is my number on the screen. In case of anything, in case you want to WhatsApp me because of the course, use this number. Don't be scammed out there. I sell a course that has 10 profitable strategies at $1,000, one strategy at $100. If you want the full package, $1,000. If you want only one strategy, and we start from OPT strategy, is $100. So guys, before even we continue any further, why the market is a sell, let's do top-down analysis. If you check NZD from monthly time frame, uh, for me, I feel like the NZD CHF, like the CHF, the Swiss franc has been so strong because anytime you're trading NZD and then CHF, what we mean is that the what we mean is that anytime you're trading uh, the NZD, we put it again NZD CHF. What we mean is that the NZD, if it is buying, it is stronger. But if the market is selling, the CHF is strong, and that's what you can see from the monthly time frame. You can see we we are selling up to here, like. We were selling 338 pips in the market rejected. We are remaining with three days for the monthly candle to close. And this does not mean because the monthly candle has closed, uh, it will now start buying. For market to buy, it has to take time. So we are safe because it is a sell, not a buy. So from a higher time frame, monthly is a sell. If we go to the weekly time frame, this is what it has. On the weekly time frame, we have a ranging channel that broke. And not even a ranging channel. This is like a double top. You see this double top? Oh, it didn't activate. So we will we will take it as a ranging channel. So that double top didn't activate. So we have that ranging channel that has broken. And if it has broken, it has a quite a journey below. You see? So it has quite a journey below. So what they did, they first activated half. And you see, they made sure they have activated half. I told you ranging channel really works, you guys. You have to take them seriously. So if it has to sell, it is coming to complete that pattern according to the weekly. So if you check very well, according to the weekly, the buyers have been buying for three good weeks straight. So they have been buying for three weeks. So nothing much on the weekly. We are just seeing a market that is doing a retest. If we come to the daily time frame. Again, from the daily time frame, it's still the same thing. The market is doing a retest, and at worst case scenario, they would want to retest to this area. This is where the market broke last. So, worst case scenario, we might see buyers pushing up, but that is worst case scenario, and that's why we need an exit. Because if we sell and the market is to buy 
138 feet. I don't want people to be on a drawdown of 138 feet. But what caught my eyes is when we went on four hour, and on four hour, the market is still ranging. You can see there's this ranging market. And when I look on my left, I'm not seeing anything that made this market stop twice. You can see this market has stopped the first time and the second time. This is not a coincidence, guys. How can the market stop twice? So once the market has stopped like this, I have to do an investigation. What is this making the market stop? So I went on the two hours time frame, and guess what, guys? I found a, a resistance on this area. I found these two lines making resistance. So I found this line and this one. So I found those two lines and you can see that's why the market has been getting rejected. You can see we are getting rejected. So number one thing is to understand that that is our, our, that is our rejection zone. And that's why the market keeps rejecting. So the reason why I'm saying the market will buy is because this is a double top that is OPT. And it has attempted to go uh, to the, you can imagine how the distance it has. It has quite a big distance. If it obeys, it has quite a big distance. So, and because I've been analyzing this when they have happened, why don't we analyze as they happen? So if you enter this trade, our first take profit is this, uh, because the market you have seen, it has, it has, it can either go half of the half, there's a possibility they can come here. They can come here, half of the half. There's a possibility they can first come of half of the half because it has really stretched. So if you sell right now, so there are people who sold uh, when immediately the market touched. Let's go to the four hour and you will see it is OPT. You see, it is nowhere. So do you do your own analysis. By the time you're saying, oh, this market is a sell, it's a buy, or you have done your own analysis, don't only depend on me. So by the time this double top was being double, double top was being formed, by the time this double top was being formed, uh, it gave an entry around here. So we got a CSB. We enter double, double top with CSB. So we got a current support break around last week on Tuesday. So Tuesday is when we got our break. And then the market after break, it has gone down. It went with 41 pips, then came back almost breaking that 26 pips. So it is uh, around that area. So what I can tell you guys is that number one, if you enter this cell, be mindful of this double top being violated. If you find, if we have entered cell right now, if you find a green candle violating, that is your first exit, guys. And don't wait for me to make a video and come tell you it might be too late. So if you enter this trade, if you sell, your first exit is where? Your first exit is here. So if you find a candle that has broken, you can see this can, This market has not been breaking these zones. So if you find a green candle breaking, and that will be maybe a drawdown of 16 to 20 pips. So instead of putting a stop loss, just watch out that line. So we don't want 52.84 to be broken. So if that 52.84 is broken, you just cancel the trade. Don't even wait for me to do a video. If they violate that double, they, they violate that double top, just cancel the trade. For the target, you can have two targets. You can have the first, you can put two trades. The first take profit, we want 68 pips, half of the half. So the first take profit should be 5,200. That is the first take profit. And the second take profit should be 51.52, 0 0.5200, that is the first take profit and take profit too. So be, be mindful, be mindful, <laughs> be mindful when you, you are trading. Don't over risk uh, because we are learning. We want to see, can we, uh, if we get an exit, can we exit this trade? If we get an exit, we have an exit in, because the, if a trade does not have an exit, it's not a good trade. So when I go back to four hour, that is what we have, guys. That is what we have. We have um, what you call uh, a double, a double top that is hidden, a double top that is hidden. So what I can tell you is that by the end, and you can see this is like a small double top here. So this double top 
we will see what happens later with it. So at the end of the day, if the market breaks 52.84, just cancel the trade. And I think that is it. We have to see how will end the DCHF. Uh, how will it perform, guys? How will this market perform? That is our our idea or my my question. But you see, you cannot analyze a market that you are not in. You have to be in. And once you're in, you have to you have to put everything. I have said the exit point. If you find your trade, let's say we have sold right now. If you find your trade that has broken and it's around 15 pips, just cancel that trade. Okay, guys. All the best in that trading signal. You will be learning a lot. You will be able to understand what the market does. If it gives us money, well and good. If we'll have to cancel, well and good. It's either way. And I don't think we have any news on NZD or CHF. If we have, I will still update you. All the best, guys, in that signal. See you in the next one.